Good evening and welcome to Paris for this, the 2027 Champions League final between Chelsea and Sheffield Wednesday here at the Stade de France. Now we're joined for tonight's game live from Northern Ireland by H&W Welders Australian midfielder Napoleon. And Napoleon, Chelsea are the favourites here tonight, but what does Sheffield Wednesday need to do to pull off an upset? Yeah, I mean, look, mate, if it was me, uh, I'd just give the board of that Razzini bloke, uh, light up a cigarette and head towards the corner flag to celebrate the goal. Uh, but, you know, not everybody plays the game the way I do. Thank you, Napoleon. Wonderful insight from a fascinating football brain. Now we can cross down live to the tunnel and speak to Sheffield Wednesday manager Ozzy Villain. And Ozzy, what is your team news ahead of tonight's big game? Yeah, look, mate, there's a few tweaks from our Wembley disappointment. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Ratzini and Brummer up front as a two. Uh, so hopefully they'll get the goals for us. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to just show up for a final once and do ourselves justice. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to Season 7, Episode 20 here at Sheffield Wednesday. And today is the day. It is the Champions League final at the Stade de France. No, Stade de France? Stade de France against Chelsea. We have never been in a final before. It doesn't really surprise anybody. Um, 160 years and we've never been here. Chelsea, of course, have obviously won the Champions League before. They're the favourites. You'd probably expect them to be the favourites. We have a terrible record against Chelsea. And, of course, we have a terrible record against... Uh, we're just in finals generally. Um, we did, of course, win our last European final, the Europa League, against Bayern Munich. So maybe we can cling to that as uh, as something that we can do. I have a poor record against Sedan, losing 83% of the meetings between us. Um, it doesn't bode particularly well, does it? But you never know. You know, they don't play these things on paper. Let's go and have a look. Let's not waste any time today. We'll also have our end of season awards as well as our goal of the season competition. We can see here we're expecting a 4-3-3 from them. Inverted inside forward. Inverted wingers inside forward. So they're going to be uh, trying to get at us through the middle. Now, having seen that, we might just uh, tweak the way we're defending a little bit. And this is the team. Now, Jabing is fit enough for the bench. We could maybe risk him in the starting lineup, but I... I mean, there's no real... Yeah, I mean, we could, but we'll leave him on the bench anyway. It's Bevacqua in goal. Bevacqua has not been in good form recently. We need him to have uh, a return to form. Lang and Rivas at the back. Martinez down the right. Beliasov down the left. Samare, Fabiano and Eduardo. Schuina plays the number 10 role. Bruma and Razzini go up top. They've been brilliant for us. They've all been brilliant for us all season. We've got, well, 90 minutes from absolute glory. Okay, so we can see the lineups there. Of course, we have an extended bench for the final for summer. I've never really understood why that is. I mean, they just do it the whole way through the tournament, you would think. But anyway, uh, extended benches there. We have a lot of options. So do they. Let's hope that our options are better than theirs. Um, all right, we want to take the pressure right off, don't we? Um, your winners, go out there and enjoy yourselves tonight. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, we saw in the FA Cup final that we really just... We looked nervous throughout, didn't we? We really didn't ever get going. So I did make a really big effort in the build-up to this one to just take the pressure completely off of us. Uh, Chelsea are the favourites. I have a terrible record against Sedan. Uh, everything trying to put as much pressure on them as possible to, uh, to hopefully get the result here in this final. Now, of course, this is potentially the last episode of the series as well. If we were to win, and we'll worry about it more if we do, um, technically, that's mission accomplished. We wanted to win the Champions League with the team for the first time, and we obviously have a chance to do that here. But uh, we'll, have, we'll have that conversation if and when we manage to get over Chelsea here. Not much happening early on. We are attacking them as we always do. We've got a highlight. Sanchez, who, of course, we had on loan for uh, six months, didn't we? Maybe a little bit longer. Was it a whole season or just the six months? I can't remember now. It was a little while ago, a few seasons back. Now, Eduardo's there. Eduardo pounces, but the ball is picked up. We've got Schuina now trying to put a bit of pressure on them. We've got to be a little bit careful. I mean, we have a terrible record against Chelsea just generally anyway. Um, oh, it's a good bit of defending there. Was it, def it was a block from Lang. Let's keep encouraging them. We've got them fired up. Here we go. Samare, Lang. It's the first time we've seen us with the ball in this final. There's a good ball for Razzini. Can Walter, he's not going to score from there, I don't think. He's gone a long way. It's bounced. Oh, Bruma. What a miss. Oliver Bruma. It's, I think I could have scored that. Razzini over a free kick. Oh, we should be in front. 
Temi Abraham gets to that one first. We've got players back. Fabiano, can he put a tackle in? No, Abraham is going past him. Hold him out there, Fabio. Come on, Fabs. Hold, don't give away a penalty. Oh, and it's into the side netting. Oh, I can't believe that Bruma miss. That's going to haunt me in my nightmares. Let's demand more. That's frustrated Martinez. And it looks as though it's... Well, it's been a typical final, hasn't it? Not too much happening. We should... Oh, we should be in the lead. I mean, the XG for that chance should be way, way higher. It, it was better than a penalty, really, wasn't it? He was completely open. Um, unlucky so far. Dig in. Let's maybe go with a dig in. Let's get out there and do it. We'll pump our fists. Say we have faith in them. Bruma, I can't really look at you, mate. I'll be honest. That should have been 1-0. We do have the Jabing option. We do obviously also have the option to switch to wingers. Uh, with Schuner already on the pitch, it would be a simple case of just bringing Edwards off of the bench. Schuner's there. Can he get... No, not quite. Martinez does well. Schuner back to Eduardo, to Brummer, who definitely, definitely owes us. There's a ball for Razzini, but a little bit too easy to be cut out, wasn't it? And Chelsea come back the other way now. Martinez has been caught out ever so slightly. It's blocked. It's cleared. And that ends the highlight. Come on, boys. What can we do differently? What do we need to do differently? Let's encourage them. Shuin is looking nervous. We've got to throw. Belly us off to take. Uh, the grey shirts, please, mate. Lang gets there just ahead of Abraham. Eduardo, there's a ball for Fab. Fabiano! He got the goal, of course, that got us to the final. Against Valencia, wasn't it? Cracker from the edge of the area. He had a decent chance there, but, uh, well, he found the target, which is pretty much all we could ask from that sort of angle and range, wasn't it? Here we go with Martinez. There's a ball for Bruma. Bruma, can you pick out Razzini? He goes back out to Martinez. Has time to measure his cross. He takes a little bit too long. Back to Eduardo. There's the ball in. It's headed away again. Samare picks it up to Schuiner, to Fabiano. Back out. That's a cracking ball. Can Martinez drill it low across the box? There it is, Bruma. Razzini's only playing a sixth screen. I think it's because he's too busy just screaming at Oliver Brummer. Um, well, I mean, we don't take Razzini off, do we? We've got an injury there for Martinez, which isn't ideal. What sort of an injury is it? Tight thigh. Um, it's not Brummer's day, is it? So I think what we might do... We'll kind of go a bit of a halfway house here. We'll bring Jabing off the bench... 15 minutes. We should be able to get that off of him. Uh, we'll bring him on there. We'll play Schuiner up top for now. What I don't want to do is not have the option to go to wingers because we've subbed Schuiner off. We've got a corner to defend. We have worked on this in training and it shows off their Rivas with a powerful header. But highlight is still going. Razzini, no, not quite. We've got, what, 15 minutes plus stoppages to go in the Champions League final. Martinez is out of position, is he? Eduardo's doing his best to get back. Foden back all the way there to Sanchez. Schuin is putting pressure on. Ball across. Oh, no. It's a weak shot. Um. Okay. Wait, what? What? what, what? Let's try this. Let's try this. We've got to get Razzini into the game, don't we? Um, encourage them again. It's not really working for Schuinar, is it? We'll take him off. We'll bring on Petkovic. If we needed to go to wingers, we could probably just about... You know what we could do? We could play Edwards on the right, and we could put Beliasov forward. So that'll, that's fine. We'll get a proper striker on. It's into stoppage time. Oh, this is it. This is it. Demand more, boys. Come on. It's going to extra time. Nil-nil. Oh, that Brummer chance. That Oliver Brummer chance. All right, don't let this slip away from you now. We've got a nervous-looking Rashid Lang. I mean, this is a whole new experience for just everybody as a club, isn't it? None of us have been here before. I can't believe Razzini's only playing a 6.2 on the big stage. Yeah, he's the one that you would... We don't take him off, do we? We do have Giordano on the bench. But surely we don't take... Razzini off. This is going all the way to penalties, isn't it? 
Um, all right, let's take our time and think about this. We don't really have any option to click on anything other than get back out there. Um, I can't even see the player ratings. That seems a little bit stupid, doesn't it? So I guess we <laughs> no other option. All right, let's just pause it here. Um, Samara is not having a great game. All right, so what we could do, let's get the captain on. Let's get Cook on for him. Um, is it just not Ratzini's day? You can't take him off. He's a good penalty taker. We can't take him off. Let's, uh, I wonder if we could demand more of him rather than the whole team and see if that gets us anywhere. Is it a game where we should have a late dig at winners? Oh, uh -oh wingers, I should say. All right, we need to have a look at penalty takers, don't we? Who are the penalty takers that aren't on the field? Brummer is off. Edwards is nervous. Do we want a nervous penalty taker? Shun has already come off. Um, there's no one else really, is there, that has to come on. Martinez is a poor penalty taker. But, I mean, even compared to those above him, he's not he's not that bad. Um, but he is injured, which is maybe something worth considering. Okay, so I wonder if what we could do... I mean, it's obviously a massive risk this late in the game. Um, but you know what? Jabin can play as a wingback. Not well, but he can play as a wingback. So let's do that. Let's get you as an attacking midfielder. Let's get Edwards running with the ball as much as possible. Um, he's not the best passer, so we'll leave it at that. And Jabing, let's just hope that he's not going to stuff up defensively for us in the last few minutes here. But this is going all the way to penalties. You can sense, oh, it's not. And we're attacking. No, we aren't. It, 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 is, it is done. And it is penalties. Oh, the Champions League. Anxious ahead of the penalty shootout. Yeah, see, that was the, that was the risk, wasn't it? Um... All right, let's pump our fists. I don't expect you to win the shootout. This is your chance to be heroes. Make sure you have no regrets. Relax, pick your spot, don't change your mind. Let's go with that. Good luck, everybody. Razzini to take the first one. Come on, mate. You've done nothing during the game, but he sticks away his penalty. All right. Can Bevacqua be a hero? Mason Mount is stepping up for Chelsea. Bevacqua. Bevacqua makes the save. All right, we've got the early advantage. Marcus Edwards. And this is the risky one, isn't it? He's nervous and he's anxious. Can he put that aside and stick the ball in the net for us? Marcus Edwards. He can. Oh, that was confident. If that's what he's like, nervous and anxious, I'd hate to see him looking confident. Tammy Abraham steps up now. Can Bevacqua give us a mountainous gap? Come on. No, Tammy with a good penalty in the corner there. It's 2-1. Up steps Rashid Lang. Now, he was looking a little bit nervous as well, wasn't he? Let's see what Rashid can do. Oh, comfortable. Well placed. Phil Foden now steps up for Chelsea. We're 3-1 up. A miss here, and, well, we're only a kick away, aren't we? Bevacqua. Bevacqua makes the save. I think we're going to win the Champions League. If we get this penalty, they can't get to four, can they? They can only get to three. It's Eduardo to be a hero. Come on, Eduardo. Surely we've got two chances. We've got two chances. Eduardo versus Edmundo. Come on, Eduardo. Oh, that's good. We still have a chance. Bevacqua has a chance now to be the hero. Is that Kingsley Coman stepping up for them? Come on, Bever. Come on, Bever. Surely we can't lose it from here, can we? Bever Qua can't make the save. So we have to score this kick. We have to score this kick or our advantage is gone. And then the momentum is all with Chelsea. And that would... Well, that you'd, you'd really start to fear for us then, wouldn't you? It's Jabing. Come on, mate. Can you be a hero for us? Come on, Jabing. We have to score this. Jabing! We've done it! We 
they've won the Champions League. Go on, boys. Sheffield Wednesday, European champions. We did it the hard way. I still can't get over Oliver Brummer's miss. But in the end, it hasn't cost us anything. We've won the Champions League on penalties. No, it's a terrible final. It's up there with that uh, Juventus Milan final at Old Trafford all those years ago. But here it is. Champion, champion, ole, ole, ole. Yeah, what a, what, that's fantastic. European champions. And, well, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. Bever quiet doing the cartwheels as the goalkeeper always does. And, well, there we go. We've done it. European champions. It wasn't a great performance. We defended well. It was an even game. You wouldn't say we didn't deserve it. I mean, neither team played well, did they, really? It was a, it was a game I think both teams will feel they could have done a lot better. But we've got and won the Champions League. That is absolutely amazing. So there we go. Sheffield Wednesday win the Champions League. Unbelievable. Martinez stuck it out there for us. We've got money in the bank. All the medal winners... We can see everybody there that's got themselves a Champions League winner's medal. William McQuaid has got himself a Champions League medal. Uh, who else there? Arentes, who was <laughs> poor when he played. He's got himself a medal. Joe Gomez moves from Liverpool. Now, Liverpool won it last year. He may have won that two years in a row. Even Sodlikov, away on loan, managed to get himself a medal. So, well done. Fabiano, happy that promises have been kept. I am now the greatest Australian manager, and I t it doesn't take much. Um... A true legend. We'll go and check that in just a second. If uh, well, I mean, surely there's going to be there's eleven legends out there, isn't there? And uh, there we go. Well, that is amazing, guys. We're going to actually let's have a look now. See who has joined the legendary status. Um, no one. I'm a favoured personnel. I've won you the friggin' Champions League and I'm favoured personnel. Unbelievable. They're tough, aren't they? These Yorkshire folk. Um, all right. Well, that is that. Uh, wait right there, guys. Enjoy the celebrations. Crack a beer and we'll be back for the end of season awards. And we'll see if you have voted as viewers player of the year. And if it's not Razzini, well, then I'm going to be rude and say you guys don't know what you're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sheffield Wednesday European Champions End of Season Awards. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. We've done it. We've done it. Oh, no. The applause is all yours. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, well, well. What? What a time it is to be alive. What a time to be a Sheffield Wednesday fan. We are champions of Europe. Nothing else, but we're champions of Europe, and that's all that really matters, isn't it? It's been a wonderful season. Uh, well, certainly the last game of it has been anyway, and the players deserve all your uh, all your uh, love and affection. So let's give them that with a big hearty round of applause. Well done, boys. No one can take this from you. You've done it. So the first award this evening is the Golden Pen for this season's Signing of the Year. And I tell you what, it's a good thing this guy's been a success because he was expensive. Uh, the add-on fee after winning the Champions League brings the total transfer to a club record 112 million of your English pounds. He signed from Feyenoord. He reigned supreme at the back. The golden pen goes to Rashid Lang. The next award is the Golden Card, awarded to the player with the worst discipline this season. And I tell you what, we're a very well-disciplined team. Six yellow cards was all it took to win it this season. Guys, you've got to do better than that. We want to see a little bit of commitment on the bad discipline front. But six yellows it is. And the winner is the left-back, Christian Sosa. The next award is the Golden Bullseye, awarded to the player with the best pass completion rate. And with a 95% pass completion rate, this is very, very well deserved. So the winner is, he's a centre-back, it's Murillo. The next award is the Golden Spoon, awarded to the player who feeds the strikers, the man with the most assists. And with this award, it just seems to go back and forth between two players. This season, with 15 assists, it's the turn of this man. It's Marcus Edwards.
The next award is the Golden Anchor, awarded to that man that we can rely on, the player with the highest average match rating. And, well, there's no surprise who this is going to go to this year. An average match rating of 7.48. If we turned up for the Champions League final, it would have been a whole lot higher than that as well. It's the first time this evening we'll see him up here. It's Walter Razzini. The next award comes from the medical department. It's the Golden Cross, awarded to this season's most injured player. And I don't think it's going to come as any surprise who the winner is. He missed 28% of the season. He also missed a sitter in the Champions League final. It's Oliver Brummer. Next up, it's the Golden Soother, awarded to the baby of the team, this season's best young player. And while this guy may be, uh, may be young, but he is certainly a leader of the team. He's won this award, I think, every year since he's been here, and with good reason. The Golden Soother goes to... Walter Razzini. Next up, it's the Golden Boot, awarded to this season's top goal scorer. Uh, there's no point drawing this out. He's hit 33 goals this season. That is insane. It's uh, just a wonderful number from a wonderful player. The Golden Boot is, of course, Walter Razzini. Now it's time to award the Coach's Award. The horses ask for a moment of absolute... What's the opposite of brilliance? I don't want to say stupidity. That seems harsh. Uh, but let's call it stupidity. Um, and there's only one moment, I think. It's fresh in all our minds. How can you miss that in the Champions League final? Oliver Brummer, you win the horse's ass. And now it is time to award one that means a lot to the players. It is the Viewer's Choice Award. Uh, the player as voted the best by you at home on YouTube. Uh, that was difficult to get out, wasn't it? Uh, but the winner, we had three good nominees, of course. But the winner, and rightly so, with 66% of the vote. I don't know what the other 33% of you are doing. It's Walter Razzini. <laughs> All right, now before we get to announcing this season's Player of the Year, uh, I think we all know who it's going to be. We do need to take a moment to acknowledge the team of the season. So if you do just direct your eyes up to the board, you will see that the goalkeeper is the hero of the final, Bevacroix. The back four are Beliasov, Orion B, lucky to be there maybe, Rivas and Martinez. The defensive midfielder is Samare. The midfield duo is Cook. Club captain, of course, maybe lucky again, and Eduardo. The number 10 is that man, Jabing. And the front two, it's Razzini and Brummer. Congratulations, guys. You've all had wonderful seasons and well-deserved. Thank you guys for the efforts. And now it is time to award the big one, the Golden Star for this season's Player of the Year. And, well, I've just about run out of things to say about this guy. He's the best player in the world as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we're very, very lucky and grateful to have him here at Sheffield Wednesday. So that means, of course, the golden all-star for this season is... Walter Razzini. So there we go. Congratulations to Walter and the rest of the winners tonight. Congratulations to Sheffield Wednesday fans everywhere. Enjoy being European champions. And uh, well, I'm not sure what the future holds for me. That will be decided in the coming days. But uh, thank everybody for coming out in the auditorium tonight. Thank you for you watching at home. And I'll see you all again, hopefully next season, but at some point back at Hillsborough. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your night. So there we go, end of season awards are done. Walter Razzini cleans up, as you would expect. And let's have a quick look at our end of season review here. Signing of the year, Rashid Lang, 112 million that cost us with uh, the fee add-on fee of winning the Champions League. Uh, but I think he's just about been worth every cent. Wonderful, wonderful player he is and will be for the club. Uh, Marino, only uh, was a B plus. I can't believe, I mean, maybe because it's... Uh, expensive but Marino was a B plus Fabiano was a C uh Gomez a B minus and the loan signing was a B plus he was just here to cover us wasn't he the outs uh we had a number of them of course Del Prato did well McCrory uh we've got the Oliver who never really played Timon who did well at West Ham um 
Basila, we can't believe we got 45 million for him. And then a couple of youngsters there that with Dean Garner went away and did absolutely nothing. He must have been injured for the half the season, was he? Uh, but anyway, so that is that. Season results. Um, let's start with the Premier League. A C plus. I think that's just about all we deserve. We, we, we got there in the end. If you're wondering... Um, Burnley didn't win the Europa League final. So in the end, fourth would have been enough. There was no jeopardy on the last day of the season. Um, but yeah, we sort of did the minimum, I think. Third is a little bit disappointing, perhaps. And we'll come back to that in just a second, actually. Uh, we've got the Champions League, which, of course, we only went and won. Won the football final. I completely missed that we played Valencia in the group stage before the semifinals. So we needn't have worried too much. Had We knew that we could beat them from the group stage, really, didn't we? 4-0 and, uh, well, a 2-2 draw away. Super Cup, we lost to Liverpool. We didn't really care that much about it. Uh, the FA Cup final we lost, the Carabao Cup final we lost. It was, uh, well, not a great year for finals other than uh, the European one, was it? Uh, the biggest win was in Europe against Galatasaray. The match to remember was against West Brom, apparently. And the goal of the season was the Fabiano strike that got us into the final uh, away there to Valencia. We'll come back to that in just a second as well. The finances... Uh, we are now a worldwide reputation club. That is absolutely brilliant. That happens when you win the Champions League, doesn't it? Um, look at the competition prize money. 122 million. And that's why they all want to win the Champions League. Uh, merchandise, we sold uh, 12 million. Most of that was foreign. Razzini, no surprise, is the most popular. Bruma, Eduardo, Lang, and Bevacqua, I dare say, on the back of that uh, shootout performance, has uh, sold a few shirts for us as well. Team of the Year... Difficult to argue with it too much. Would Lang get in there ahead of him be? Um, obviously, there's a debate to be had. It's more or less the same team as last year, actually. Razzini and Broom up. I still don't know if I'll ever forgive him for that miss, but we got there, I suppose, so it didn't cost us too much. Uh, but no real surprises there, I don't think, or shocks. Uh, maybe Fabiano, but he was a bit poor, wasn't he? He came good at the end. Um, these are the competition, uh, sorry, the uh, accolades. Now, a lot of this is just for the league, but Razzini absolutely cleaning up. Um, goal of the season we can see there and as we go all the way down and a couple of records Bevacqua broke the record for clean sheets uh, Razzini for man of the match awards and Basilla was the highest transfer fee we've ever received as a club and uh, I'm not quite sure still how we got that for him so there we go history in the making well done to us let's have a quick click through here um what do we got here? We don't care too much about that season we scored uh, 70 goals so we outdid our XG um, and again, that's that we've outdone our points and therefore our position. So we've done well on that front. We'll come back to all this in just a second. Squad dynamics update. We can see that there as well. End of season team meeting we'll do off camera. New season report we'll come back to. We can see Brummer, unsurprisingly, was the, uh, the Golden Cross winner. We maybe need to uh, rename that the Oliver Brummer Award, don't we? And uh, so there we go. Training camp. Singapore sounds good to me. Um... We'll just go to Singapore. All right, now we do have some other awards here to uh, catch you up on, and that is, uh, where are we here? For the Champions League, Razzini was the Golden Boot winner. 12 goals from 10 appearances. That is almost Messi-esque, isn't it? So well done to you, Mr. Walter Razzini. Um, the best goal, Fabiano came in third. There were two others ahead of him. The dream team for the Champions League, we have Bevacqua in goal, Beliasov down the left, we have Fabiano in midfield, and Razzini up top. No real surprise, maybe Fabiano's a bit of a surprise, but they were all brilliant for us. Bevacqua was goalkeeper of the season, Rivas was defender of the season, Jabing second in midfielders, and Razzini, and look at that, Pekovic there in third as well. So, um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's great to see that we've got uh, sort of well represented in the end of season awards there. Now, let's have a quick look at the squad and see how everybody did outside of the sort of award winners. There's the appearance makers. Uh, so we can see there, Bevacqua led the way. Goals outside of Ratsini. It was sort of daylight the second, wasn't it? Which was uh, Jabing. Shuanar was there. Pekovic, Brummer all reaching double figures. Giordano was disappointing this year. Edwards did fine, and we can see all the other goal scorers there. Lots and lots of goals, which is great to see. The assist getters, uh, outside of Edwards, it was uh, then Eduardo, Jabing, Razzini up there in assists as well. Uh, Shuana, Pekovic, Martinez did a good job. Uh, Leighton Clarkson, you know he's a favorite of mine. And we can see, oh, God, we have to actually scroll down with all the assist getters, so that's good to see. And the average ratings, uh, Razzini obviously led the way. He would have been even better if he had actually turned up for the final. Uh, Jabing, Edwards... 
he's really good, Edwards, isn't he? I think he uh, slides under the radar. He's exactly how good he is for us. Uh, then there's a bit of a drop off there after the top three: Bruma, Ed, uh, Eduardo, and uh, we can see everybody else there with uh, MB and Shuna just falling below the seven mark. So that is that. Now, what we need to do is have a bit of a conversation here as to what we do with the series. Now, the goal was to win the Champions League. Um, now, what we haven't done is won anything else. We haven't won anything domestically. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put a poll on the uh, on the community page. I won't pull it up. I'll put it up sort of... When will I pull it up? You know what I'll do? I'll put a straw poll. Um... Because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin anything by putting anything on the on the community tab that we've that we've actually won the final. So at the very top of the description, there's going to be a, a link to the straw poll, like there would be for player of the year, goal of the season, things like that. Well, there will be one there for goal of the season as well. Um, but make sure you go and vote. Do we continue on for at least one more season to see if we can win something domestically, go and defend our Champions League crown, or? given that we've you know, completed what we said we we're going to do win the Champions League, do we end the series and start something new? You know, if we want to end the series, if that's what you want to do and that's what you vote for, what we will do is we'll sim ahead and we'll see how this team gets on without us, who replaces us as manager uh, and how they get on, as I said, without us. Um, exactly how good is Razzini? Does he stay at the club for the rest of his career? All that sort of stuff we'll find out. So we won't, it won't just end. There will be sort of a little bit of follow-up. Uh, but, but if you want us to take charge for at least another year and see if we can win something domestically, then vote for that and, and sort of whatever comes out on top, that is what we will do. So there we go. Now that, of course, brings us back now to goal of the season. And if we go down here, we can have a look at the best 11. Um, what, the way this works, and I'm sure you all know how this works by now, but again, there'll be a link at the top of the description. There will be the Fabiano goal, the game gamers goal of the season, plus three others I deem worthy. At the end of the compilation, go and uh, go and click on the link to the straw poll. Vote for your favorite goal, and we'll uh, announce that winner at some point, even if it is just on the Discord if the series comes to an end. Um, but yeah, that brings us to the end. If you have enjoyed this, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go and vote. You will decide what happens with this series. So uh, speak now, forever hold your peace, as they say. But that's it from me for today. Enjoy the goal of the season, and I'll see you next time, either for the beginning or either for the wrap-up or uh, a summer transfer special. But that'll be uh, uh, yeah, well, Tuesday, won't it? So that's fine. I've got some time. Take care. Here are our top four goals from the 26-27 season. Don't forget to vote for your favourite.